Hey guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to show you a get ready with me first impressions. I did go out and buy a few things and I wanted to try them out with you guys. Um, if you do hear something like growling and shit, it's my dog in the background. His name is Rocket. Come here, Rocket. Come here. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. And this is Rocket. Say hey, Rocket. That's my little puppy. We ended up rescuing him. And he is so bad, but he is so good at the same time. Starting where I left off, I'm going to go in with a foundation. This is the Infallible Pearl Glow um, Foundation in 209, which is Carmel Beige. I did try this out on my skin, and it did seem like it would be my color. And it also looks like it would be my color in the um, packet. The back of this says, Lasting Glow Foundation, Never Dull, Never Greasy. It says that the finish is radiant, which you know I love me a radiant foundation. It says up to 24 hour wear. We'll see because I'm going to work literally right after this. It says that a coverage is medium. I'm okay with a medium coverage. We're going to work. I'm not going no full glam anywhere. And texture is air light. I love an air light. We're going to go in with a beauty blender. Uh, I already primed my face with my Too Faced um, Hangover Primer. And we'll just go ahead and apply this. So mine is sealed, and I'm gonna add that to the back of my arm. All the foundations that I do get, this is the amount that I put on there, and I usually get a medium to full coverage foundation. I'm gonna dot that in my beauty blender and add this on my face. Ooh, this matches my skin pretty good. I like it so far. Mm. So the foundation looks like it's going on pretty good. It might be a little too yellow maybe golden maybe too golden i should have probably got two shades if i would have got two shades i probably wouldn't been able to mix it with a lighter one i should have did that but i didn't wow i was supposed to conceal my brows oh shit do i look dark as fuck did i get a dark ass shade i look so dark um with that being said, let me get something to brighten this up. Just taking my normal foundation that I use, which is a little light, and I'm gonna add this right on top of it. So today we're definitely having a full coverage. Okay, you see that, that brought life. But to be honest, with the L'Oreal um, Infallible Pro Glow, this one I kinda like. So I think I'm gonna go to the store and try to find my shade because it sat on my skin really nicely so it's not a bad foundation so far i kind of like that one you know it does have like a luminous feel to it so you know i like lumi y'all we were supposed to conceal my my brows with this but we just realized that was way too dark so we're not gonna do that we're just gonna go in with my regular foundation which is my nars foundation And then once we do that, I'll go in with my beauty blender and tap down on the edges. After foundation, I normally go in with concealer. So the concealer that I'm using is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. And I got this in the color Sand Sable. And the only reason why I got this color, because in my other Maybelline Fit Me one, um, I got it in Sand Sable. So hopefully they are the same color. So we winding this up and then the product starts pushing out of the top. Okay, okay, so it's not a bad color. It actually looks like it is the color from the Maybelline Fit Me. So we're just gonna, I don't know if you're supposed to swipe, dab, but we're gonna dab. I'm gonna put some down my nose. Ooh, that made a perfect line down my nose. Then with my Beauty Blender, I'll go in and blend everything out i am gonna add another layer of concealer though i don't feel like with that one layer it was enough i can still see some dark circles on this side this side looks like i put enough on the top of my nose also on my forehead and we're just gonna go back in a little bit more And add some more, we're gonna add some more on this side. That door is so creepy sometimes, but it's my AC turning on. 
but then I'll go in and blend out the concealer that I added on. I really like how this is blending out. This is blending out flawlessly. I'm gonna go over my lids a little bit with it. To set all this, I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Face Powder in 240, and I'm adding this on with the Morphe Y7. And first, I'm gonna tap this. So far, this is this is beautiful. And to set my under eyes, I'm using this um, original formula of Airspun Loose Face Powder. So we're just gonna take out the creases from under my eye. Add my brush in this face powder. I'm adding this down. Wow, this loose face powder. Okay, loose face powder. Ooh, this shit is nice as fuck. This is Rumble's Face Trio in Golden Bronze. And this has a blush color, a contour, and a highlighter. So let's try this. So we're going to take this shade right here, which is this brown contour shade. So we're going to see how this works. Ooh, this is working so nice. I'm about to get stuck in a drugstore, y'all know that? Y'all see that? This blends out really nice. It's not leaving any patches. I'm going to go around my little baby hairs. And it's not too, um... It could look like it get a little muddy if I keep building up on it, but right now, the way it is, it looks really, really, really pretty. Wow. <laughs> I'm excited, y'all. Okay, so we're going to do the same for my nose. I bought another blush. I bought this Milani um, Baked Blush in Luminoso. I think I want to use the one in the Face Trio first, just because like I'm already here using the Face Trio. So we're just gonna go ahead in with it. We're taking this pink shade and we're adding it to my cheeks. Mm. Mm, no, I don't, I don't think I'm feeling it. So we're just gonna open this one up. Whoa. Damn, okay, that looked like it was gonna be way too much. So we're just gonna do it on this side first. Let's see how pigmented it is. Which, ooh, this is already 10 times beautiful than the blush that I put on. Luminoso for the win. Okay, we're gonna add some of that up there. Because I got this like little gold sheen going on from that blush, I'm just gonna dab a little bit of that blush and add it on top of Luminoso so I don't look crazy. And for highlight, I'm using the highlight in this little face trio. So let's put that on with a highlighting brush. Ooh, it's kinda pretty. Look at it, y'all. It's starting to blind. Oh! I'm definitely gonna be using this more often because look at it, it's so, so pretty. Then we're gonna do the bridge of my nose. We're gonna do the tip of my nose. And then once the tip is done, I'll do my cupid's bow. After the face, I'm gonna go in with my eyes now. This is the Wet n Wild uh, Rose in the Air eyeshadow palette, which this is beautiful to me. I love shades like this. I like the fact that they um, gave us two transition shades. They gave us a cool tone transition shade and they gave us a warm tone transition shade, which was pretty awesome of them. And I liked how they mixed up the warm tones, like they mixed up your warm tone shades. So you're getting some warmer shadows and then you're getting some cool shadows as well. So you have a good mixture of cool and warm tone eyeshadows. So since I am going to work, I don't want to do anything like crazy. So I feel like this palette is perfect for that because this pops out neutrals, everyday looks to me. So let me just take my beauty blender, kill the creases. There's actually a shade in here that I can go ahead and set my lids with. Then we're going to go in with this warm transition shade and add that in my crease. Ooh, ooh I like this shade. It's really pretty. Add that a little bit more. Do the same on this side. Once I've built up that transition shade, I'll go in with the crease shade. And the crease shade I'm gonna use is this maroon burgundy shade right here. And I'll add that on my outer corners. On a more smaller blending brush, I'm gonna go in this purple shade right here and I'm gonna add that just on my outer corners and blend that in a little further in. Once I do that, I'll do the other side. 
Then on a flat shader brush, I'm taking this golden champagne shimmer shade and I'm adding this to my lid. It's really pretty. And they're blending so nicely. See, when wild never fails. Then I'm gonna add some right on my brow bone. I got this Marc Jacobs Black Eyeliner. Um, I actually got a sample from Sephora and I loved that it was retractable as well. It stayed in my waterline. So we're just gonna add some of this in my waterline. Very dark, very, very nice. I'm a little messy down there, aren't I? Back in with this eyeshadow palette, I'm taking this burnt orange shade on a pencil brush and adding that on my lower lash line. On a definer brush, I'll go back in with this purple. And I'll mix it with a little bit of this brown so it can get a little darker. And adding that right on my lower lash line. And then going back in with my pencil brush and that rusty orange shade and blending that out. Then on the same pencil brush, I'll take the shimmery shade again and add that right in my inner corners. I'm gonna wet the brush because that's what I did for my lids. I wet the brush and then did it and it made it so much more brighter. Let's see, look at that. So beautiful. For eyeliner, what I'm gonna do is take the Marc Jacobs Black Eyeliner. I'm gonna run this on my lash line and then smudge it out. And I'm gonna do one at a time because I've never did this with this eyeliner before and I'm not sure how it dries up. To further help smudge this black eyeliner, from the Wet n Wild palette, I'm taking this dark brown right here and I'm adding that on top. This is also gonna keep it from looking so harsh. Because I don't want that brown to be too thick on my lids, I'm gonna go back in with that shimmer shade and I'm gonna go over it just so that it can diffuse it a lot better. And then towards the back, I'll go in with that purple shade that I was using and go right on top of that and blend it up just so everything blends nice and seamlessly. And we're going to do the same to the other eye. To finish up with the eyes, we're going to go ahead and add mascara. And don't ask me what this mascara name is. It rubbed off, but I know it's a Maybelline and I know it's the Colossal one, but I think they have other Colossal ones. I'm not sure, but I know this one is Maybelline, and I know it's a Colossal. Now for lashes. Today, I'm trying out a different type of lashes. This is the Lore um, Cosmetics Definition in number 126. This is spectacular length and fullness. It's like a gorgeous gift for your eyes, and this is what they look like. These are so beautiful. So it comes with some eyelash glue and a applicator. We can try putting it on with the applicator, but I'm gonna use my own glue for this. So this is a little applicator that it comes with. So let's size them out. These look already beautiful, they look stunning. So we're gonna size them out for my eye. Taking a pair of scissors and chopping off about this much, putting it on the little applicator. Adding this Duo Lash Adhesive. Um, I remember the last time I used the dual glue, I, la I stopped using it because the squirt bottle was too much for me. So I started looking in other places. But now Duo has a glue with a brush on adhesive and I like that because it's a less mess. So we went ahead and coated the lashes with the Duo glue and then we're just going to apply them on. Like that. Okay, so this is kind of like big and bulky, so it's kind of hard. I'm going to take my tweezers and add them on. And they're still too big. These are some big lashes, I guess. Scissors. Cut. Tweezers. Let it air out. Now it's looking as if it is drying, so I'm going to apply it to my eye. Closest to my lash line as possible. Attach the ends. Ah, these are poking the inner corner of my eyes. I do not feel comfortable at this very moment, y'all. I'm trying to get them to feel comfortable. Oh my god, no. Then I'm going to take my little baby curler and press these lashes down. So we can get these to feel comfortable on my eye. And there we go. I want them to curl, so we're trying to curl them at the same time. The lashes are officially on, which they are actually really pretty. 
Ooh, look how pretty they are. And I'm gonna add this black in my tight line as well. It's such a smooth pencil that I'm not getting any tearing with this and I like that. It's also staying on my lash line pretty well right now. Nothing is in my inner corners, which usually by now something is in my inner corners. Okay, so for lips I have two options. I have this pretty brown that I got from Maybelline. This one is called Fighter and I got this lip liner from Sephora called, uh, what's this called? Let's see, Nothing But Nude. This is called Nothing But Nude. But then I got this new Fenty lipstick. Well, it's new to me. I don't think it's new to the line. But this one is, because I've been loving bold lips lately, I feel like this would be really cute. This is a really pretty pink shade. But for right now, I'm not going to go um, the pink. I'll do this another day. But this is such a pretty lipstick. I wanted to use it so bad. We'll go ahead and use the nude for now. So we'll go in with this Sephora lip liner, which is nothing but nude, and we'll line my lips. Okay, this might be too light for the lipstick that I'm using, but this is a beautiful lip liner. After I line my lips, I'm going to go in with a uh, liquid lipstick. It's still going to be from the same um, line, which is the Maybelline um, Matte Ink line. And this one is in the shade Diver. And I felt like this matches this lip liner a lot better. I want to add some gloss to this look, so I'll be adding this Revlon lip gloss in Supernatural. And it is really pretty. And then once everything is done, I'll go ahead and set my face. Add a little bit more highlight at this time. So at this time, the highlight is going to be banging. And this is the completed look, you guys. I hope everyone had fun watching. I actually had fun doing this, trying out new products. I really, 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 really am surprised about this highlighter and this contour. These two shades are very beautiful. I'm not really liking this blush because I was feeling like I was too dark for this blush. But still, this trio was like $5 and these two were pretty awesome. Also, I will be using this palette a lot more often to do my everyday looks. Like I love palettes like the It's My Ray Ray palette. It's My Ray Ray palette has similar shades to this. And these work just as good half of the price maybe even less than half of the price and um because i think these are like six dollars i think that's eighteen dollars so definitely less than half of the price and they have great color payoff this foundation right here this foundation seems like it's gonna be great i am gonna go to the store tomorrow to get my actual shade so i don't have to mix two shades to get the foundation i will get my foundation shade i'm also loving the blush that we use i've always liked the formula of sephora's lip liners um sometimes you know the colors could be a dud because these are so creamy but this one does wonders and this um eyeliner this eyeliner is really nice uh, it has not moved from my waterline or on uh, my tight line it's still there which this that means this is a go-go like yeah also for this maybelline age rewinding concealer loving this concealer y'all i'll definitely be using this concealer a lot more i'll definitely be using this foundation a lot more these are definitely going to be incorporated in my foundation routine a lot more often all right guys and that's everything i am so happy that you guys stay tuned to watch if you could follow me on instagram snapchat and facebook uh everything is at centina marie if you did like this video please give it a like comment and subscribe and until next time bye guys